Colon de Vries syndrome, or KDVS, is a disorder that affects multiple organ systems. It has been named after Dr. David Colon and Bert de Vries, hence cool kids. The disorder is characterized by affecting brain functions, such as developmental delay, mild to moderate intellectual disability, and epilepsy. Children with this disorder usually have weak muscle tone, so-called hypotonia. Other common features are congenital malformations of the heart, urogenital system and musculoskeletal problems such as flat feet, scoliosis and abnormal curvature of the spine. The cool kids typically have a disposition that is described as cheerful, sociable and cooperative. Treatment is directed at specific symptoms, for example speech therapy and occupational therapy. Nonverbal communication is critical to support kids with KDVS. KDVS is a genetic syndrome caused by disruption in the DNA, more specifically the cancel one gene at chromosome 17. The cancel one gene and other genes are made up of DNA and act as instructions to make molecules called proteins. The disruption in the DNA results in less protein to be made in the patients. Disruption of cancel one therefore means that its product, the cancel one protein, is not made in adequate amounts. DNA is packed in the cells by proteins called histones. When the DNA is wrapped around histones, genes are not accessible, meaning that proteins are not produced. The cancel one protein is part of a larger complex that is essential for acetylation of histones. Adding an acetyl group to the histone loosens the DNA around that histone, allowing other proteins such as RNA polymerase and transcription factors to access the DNA and to enhance protein production. In other words, a defect in cancel 1 leaves the DNA tightly bound around the histones resulting in less activity of many other genes, explaining the wide range of clinical features. How can we study what is going wrong in the different organs such as the brain? Since 2006 there is a new method that allows us to take cells like skin or blood cells from healthy individuals and KDVS patients. These cells can be converted into stem cells, more specifically induced pluripotent stem cells. The nice thing is that from these iPS cells we can now generate any type of cell which we are interested in. Researchers at the Radboud University in Nijmegen use this technique to generate brain cells from healthy individuals and patients and culture them in a dish. In order for our brain to function well, brain cells, so-called neurons, need to communicate efficiently with each other. Every time they send a message, this generates a small electric signal. Researchers at the Radboud University use an efficient way to measure this by growing the human neurons on a smart dish so-called microelectrode arrays. The bottom of these culture dishes is covered by a grid of electrodes, which are able to record the electrical signals generated by the brain cells that are cultured in such a dish. Microelectrode arrays allow the researchers to measure how often and how effective neurons communicate. Using this technique, they already found that brain cells that produce less cancel one communicate less. Researchers now want to use this novel technique to search and screen for drugs that can restore the communication. Do you want to know more about KDVS? For more information, please visit our homepage.